Hey guys, welcome back to another video with HP Tuners. Today, we're gonna walk you through how to send in a support ticket and how to gather the three major files that help expedite the process. We understand that the world of tuning and diagnostics isn't always smooth and easy, and everyone has a unique situation. So we have a highly efficient process designed to help you if you experience any troubles with our products and software. First, let's explain the support ticketing system. So our customer service support team uses a ticket system to help customers with product questions and issues. A support ticket is a form that gets sent directly to our team. This form gets then assigned to a support expert who will contact you directly. This is the easiest way for our team to get to every customer, tuner, and enthusiast that reaches out for support. It also keeps every request or inquiry organized in our system. That being said, you can also email our team directly, support at hptuners.com, but we highly recommend that you use the ticket form so that your files and requests are sent correctly and logged in the system. When you're facing issues with loading credits on your device, licensing your vehicle, or experiencing read and write issues, we have a very knowledgeable support team that can help you find a solution. To submit a ticket, go to hptuners.com, go to the contact section of the website, which is in the top menu bar, and submit a request, which is in the top right corner of the next page. This will bring you to the main form, which you will then fill out appropriately. There are some optional boxes like controller type, controller OS, serial number, etc. All of this information can be found in the info log, debug.dat, and license.dat files, so please send in this information. If you send in those files, all you have to do is then describe your issue. We will then collect all of that information from those files. This is the easiest and most efficient option for you and our team. If you don't include this information, our team will just end up reaching out to you to ask you to gather these files, which then just makes the entire process much longer to get your issue resolved. So make sure you send in those files when you first submit the ticket. You also have the option to include your VIN, the product name you're working with, the version of your VCM software, the year make model of your vehicle, and lastly, your order number, if applicable. These are optional to fill out, but again, the more information, the better, and it's very easy. You then have a section to upload files, which I'll explain in a moment. After you submit a support ticket, it gets sent directly to our support team through the system. A support member will read through your ticket and assign it to the best person to answer your specific needs or issues. That expert will then contact you and offer next steps or solutions to the problem you're facing. Once your ticket has been successfully submitted, expect to hear back from our team within 24 hours. Next, let's talk about the three major files that you want to include in every support ticket. At the bottom of the form, there's a section uploading these files. So let's talk about the three different ones. The first one is an info log. This file contains a detailed snapshot of your current vehicle and interface configuration. This file is extremely important to include and your heroes reference info logs very frequently. Next, we have the license.dat. This file gives our support team details about your interface, your actual device, whether it be an MPVI, MPVI 2 or 2 plus, an RTD plus, information about licensing and your credit history to help resolve credit discrepancies or service a failed device. Next, we have the debug.dat. This file gives our support team details about your interface, computer, and operating software, and your vehicle to help troubleshoot read, flash issues, or scanning issues. Again, these files are very important to include in your ticket, so our team can help you out to the best of their ability and as quickly as possible. To gather these files, it's all pretty straightforward. The way to gather an info log file is you're going to want to launch VCM editor, or VCM scanner, either of those work. Click the blue info icon, which then gives you your VCM suite info. It's a blue circle with a white lowercase letter I. In the next window, you're gonna click the second info icon, let everything load, and then save all of the info by clicking the save button and save it to your desktop. It's very, very simple. The process of gathering your debug.dat and license.dat files are exactly the same. So here's what you need to do for those. You're gonna open Windows Explorer to see all the files that are on your computer. Go to Documents, HP Tuners, and Settings. Both of those files should be in there. You can then attach them to your support ticket as you would normally attach any file. In conclusion, submitting a support ticket is very simple, and assuming you send us all the necessary information and files, the info log, the debug.dat, and the license.dat, along with the description of the issue you're facing, 
Our team will get back to you within 24 hours with some solutions and next steps. The biggest thing to remember is grabbing these files. They contain very valuable information that our team needs to help understand your situation and the potential issue you're dealing with. If you have any more questions, leave a comment below, or now that you know how to contact our support team with a ticket, send them a ticket if you have an issue. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you in the next video.